I was the first one in position. As always, I met my enemies head on. They wanted to stop me, but my vehicle did its job, and so did I. Then the rest of the team arrived, and it was time for me to move on. But it seems that was exactly what they were waiting for. The AMX 50B got into trouble because it lost concentration for a moment. A tank like this doesn't allow for mistakes. It's large and easy to hit. It's a juicy target for artillery, and because of its size, it's difficult to find cover. If only its size were the sole problem. There's also no armor. Most guns can penetrate it easily, and when they do, you lose so many modules that your eyes will hurt from the red glare in the corner of the screen. Then there's the four-shot magazine. Average damage from a drum is only 1600. It's not enough to destroy a target one-on-one. -on -one. This is not a duelist. That was nasty, but I survived. There's a strong opponent somewhere up ahead. I may end up regretting this. But a dash forward and a surprise attack are what is needed right now. Ouch! He was waiting for me. That was the final hit. It could have happened to anyone. Remember, the AMX-50B always has a choice in where and when it wants to be. This is a tank with the spirit of a warrior. The warrior cares nothing for pain. The warrior knows his capabilities and what is needed to win. There are different paths to victory, and the AMX-50B is the master of finding them. For example, at the start of a battle, there are several options to choose from. You can follow allied heavy tanks into the city, or you could join a wolf pack with your medium tanks. You could even stay close to the base, provide long-range fire support, and wait to see how the battle develops. The diversity of tactical options comes from the mobility of the AMX-50B. It is the fastest of the heavy tanks. The combination of speed and maneuverability allows it to compete with medium tanks and even outmatch many of them. These are very respectable traits, and they explain the lack of armor. By the way, the situation with the armor isn't quite as simple as the numbers make out. The front of the tank is well armored and well sloped. There's even a strip that is 230 millimeters thick. With this, you may think that all you have to do is hide the turret and tank with your front plate. Well, that sort of can work until you need to take a shot, but not always. The warrior has a secret move, ramming, and the AMX-50B is one of the best at it. You may be turning a corner in a city, and suddenly you realize you've just crushed an AMX-1390 or any other light tank. The 50B is so good at ramming that it even outperforms the E-50M. When tanks collide, the impact point is determined on each vehicle and damage is received through this part. The amount of damage received depends on a number of different factors. The primary ones are the tank's weight and speed and the thickness of its armor. The combination of these traits makes the 50B an exceptional vehicle for ramming. I was caught off guard, but I reacted in time. Now it's an easy target. There's a chance to look around and with a little luck, I can relax for a moment. No such luck. The enemy appeared right in front of me while I was reloading. 
Yes, you can't take out a full HP tank with a single magazine, but things look much better if you can ram your opponent first. In other respects, the gun is very good. The magazine reload is fast, and the shells fly true. Armor penetration is good enough, and the gun depression is fine. These traits make it possible to fight effectively at both close and long ranges. The AMX 50B is purely a warrior. Probably because of this, it's very unforgiving. Then again, the AMX 5100 and AMX 5120, which come before the 50B, are very similar. You won't encounter anything particularly new or shocking. The cost of making a mistake is just higher than ever. You have to make choices when driving this tank. Do you head for the town now or later? Do you take the shot and run away for a reload or wait for a better opportunity? Do you finish off two damaged vehicles or unload the whole magazine into a full health enemy? Do you heal your commander or your driver? When engaging in a melee, you need to stay behind your teammates, replying with four shells for every enemy shot. You should always look for the opportunity to empty your magazine and withdraw for a reload. Surviving the reload is the second most important task for the AMX 50B. The most important one is finding a way to hide the huge hull. Later in the battle, when you get a feel for the locations of the enemy vehicles, the AMX 50B becomes a hunter. It tracks down targets, lures them out, and destroys them with confidence. The thing to remember is keeping an eye on the mini map to avoid being cornered. My rival, we meet at last. Why isn't he shooting? He must be reloading like me. Okay, let's do it, one by one. Hit me, do it. Come on, tough guy, hit me. Show me what you've got. Is that the best you can do? This is how you hit. Good luck on the battlefield!